Hello everyone, so this video is a continuation of my previous video that I did on dot product and in this video we're gonna go over projection of a vector on another vector and what are cosines, uh, what are direction cosines. So let's get started. So to find projection of a vector on another vector, uh, this is the formula that we need to know. So if you want to, so for example, if we want to find the projection of B on A. So this is the formula that you need to know that it's A dot product with B and it's magnitude of B square root and then we have to multiply it with the vector B. Okay now let's do a problem. Find the projection of B on A if if we're given a vector A, which is 4i plus 1j, and B, which is 2i uh, plus 3j. So we need to find projection of B on A. So we're going to use this formula. So first of all, we're going to find the dot product of A dot B. So A dot B is equals 2. So it's 4 times 2, 4 times 2, plus... 1 times 3 and which gives us 8 plus 3 which is 11. Now this is my dot product. Now let's find the magnitude of B. Okay, magnitude of B it's 2 squared plus 3 squared and square rooted which gives square root of 13. Now, we're just going to plug everything into the formula. So, it's 11 over square root of 3 and then square it. And now, square and square root cancels out. And we need to multiply the whole thing with the vector b. And the vector b is 2i plus 3j. Now, let's write this neatly. 11 over square root of 3 times 2i plus 3j. So this is what we're doing. So now let's multiply. So it's 22 over square root of 13 i hat plus 3 over, oh sorry, 33 over square root of 13 j hat. And this is my final answer. So this is projection of B on A. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, now we're going to go over direction cosines. So for a non-negative vector, A, uh, A1 I hat plus A2 J hat plus A3 K hat in three space, the angles that the alpha, so the angles that the alpha, beta, and gamma mixed with the i, j, and k are called the direction angles. So you guys get it? Like i, j, and k. So the angles that are making, with like alpha making with the i hat and beta making with the j hat and gamma making with the k hat. These uh, angles are called the direction angles. Are called the direction angles. And the, the cosines of these angles are called the direction cosines. So, for example, like cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, and cosine of gamma. These are called the direction cosines. So, yeah, don't worry if you guys do not get it right now because we're going to go over an example. I'm sure we're going to get it. Okay, so now let me give you guys the formulas to find the direction cosines. So, if you're given a vector A, which is a1 i hat plus a2 j hat plus a3 k hat. And so to find the direction cosines, it's cosine of alpha equals 2. So a1, this one, a1 over magnitude of a. So the magnitude of the vector a, this vector. Now, and it's cosine of beta equals 2, a2 over magnitude of a. So now A2 is the one with the G hat. 
and cosine of gamma equals to a3 over magnitude of a. Now these are the formulas that you guys to need to know for, um, I mean, to calculate direction cosines. Okay, now let's do a numerical problem. Find the direction cosines and direction angles of a given vector A whose components are 5i hat plus 7g hat plus 2k hat. Now, we need to find the uh, direction cosines and direction angles. So, how do we do that? So, I gave you the formula cosine of alpha equals to a1 over magnitude of a. So, a1 in this case is 5, a2 is 7, and a3 is 2. And for cosine of beta is a2 over magnitude of a. And cosine of gamma is a3 over magnitude of a. So, now let's find it. So, first of all, we're going to find the magnitude of a. So magnitude of A is 5 squared plus 7 squared plus 2 squared and square root of which gives square root of 78. Now let's find the direction cosines. So direction cosines are cosine of alpha equals to A1 is 5. So 5 over square root of 78 and cosine of beta, beta equals to 7 over square root of 78 and cosine of gamma equals to 2 over square root of 78. So these, these three are my direction cosines. Now Let's calculate direction angles. We just calculate the direction cosines. Now we just need to find the direction angles. And how do we find the direction angles? So here we have cosine of alpha equals to 5 over square root of 78. And to find alpha, we just need to do cos, cos inverse both sides and it will give us the angle of the alpha. So alpha equals to cos inverse of 5 over 78 square root of 78 and here beta equal beta beta equals to cos inverse of 7 over 78 and gamma equals to cos inverse of 2 over square root of 78 now just plug these into your calculator and make sure that your calculator is in, is in degrees which gives 55.53 degrees, 37.53 degrees, and 76.89 degrees. Now, these are my direction angles. So, this is the answer. Thanks for watching.